YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DBK. So we're back with another video today. I got a brand new pair of sneakers to review for you guys. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy's dropping some heat. And let's go ahead and get into the pickup of the day. Quick backstory about this shoe. Now, this shoe's actually been out for like a year or some change. Uh, this colorway released and a, a blue colorway released alongside of that. But the retail is 160 and I wasn't willing to pay 160 for it. The shoe definitely caught my eye because the colorway, I thought it was pretty crazy. And um, I was like, I'm not paying 160 for that. So I waited, waited, waited. Eventually, they hit Nike.com for like 93 bucks, And I still was like, nope, I'm not paying $100 for these. Just don't want to because they're sitting everywhere, right? So eventually, I um, ended up in Chicago. And this is my first time seeing me as an indie outlet, at least where I've traveled to. And they were marked down to $79.99. Retails 160 got an extra 10% off on top of that and we're golden man So finally because this shoe's been sitting in my nike.com cart for months pretty much just have a standard all-black Nike sportswear box Got some gloss and stuff going on It actually made it back pretty good from when I was on the airplane didn't do it didn't do too bad Here's the Nike zoom Romero 5 SE SP and that was a mouthful size 8 that is my size women's nine and a half Colorways electric green, black, and white. And here is the shoe, man. The shoe's very vibrant. Um, I like it. You know, I'll get into the details in a second. And then I'll end it off with a dope on feet for you guys. All right, so pretty much, um, I guess this is a running shoe. I don't know if they're calling it a running shoe or is it more along the lines of a casual sneaker. But in my opinion, it kind of looks like one of the dad style shoes. But um, these are clean, man. These are very clean. I love the colorway on it. A lot of detailing going on here. I think you can dress these up with some nice denim and a nice jacket or something. And you can do kind of like your gym attire, you know, joggers and a t-shirt. Either way, I feel like you can't go wrong. And for the price point, I definitely dig it. And like, the best thing about it, I will say for last. Pretty much on your lateral side, you got a lot going on here. So a black Nike swoosh this is just a smooth plastic material and you kind of have like this plastic material as well it's not really like stable I honestly think it's just more of an aesthetic thing I don't think it really has serves a purpose so this is just gray stripes going along the side around the toe box you do have black felt material kind of like what they put on the Air Max 1 right here you have a white leather smooth leather going on and the silver hits that you see on the front are 3M reflective and I like this bright electric green. It's very vibrant, but it just looks dope. I think these look really dope with all the paneling and stuff going on and it's a it's a thicker mesh. So it's not like super super thin, but it's still breathable at the same time. So around the toe box of the shoe, you do got all white leather, black laces, green mesh tongue and Going up the tongue, you do have an all hot pink strip right there. I think that hot pink just kind of set the shoe off. It gave it a very nice pop, and it is 3M reflective as well. And the top of the tongue is a white mesh material, and in gray and black, it does say Nike Zoom or Nike Vomero 5. The inside of the shoe, you do have an all hot pink insole, and it has a graphic Bowerman. I don't remember who that is off the top of my head, but it's somebody. It has something to do with Nike, but it says Bowerman series and an all black sock liner. Medial side is exact same. Nothing different going on there. Um, a few key details of the shoe that kind of make it stand out as well. You have white leather on the heel, green mesh at the top, and as well, you do have 3M reflective hits on the back and electric green Nike shoe sitting on top of that leather. But the heel counter is what I thought was very cool. So it's a, it's a plastic heel counter, but you can see it's got like holes in it. And right up under that is the mesh material. So it's kind of like they put a extra heel cup on it, maybe for support or something. I'm not really sure, but it just looks really cool in my opinion. The midsole, you do have a zoom cushion midsole and you don't really see it on the medial side as well. But you do have wrapping up the midsole, a silver plastic plate here. It's not like carbon fiber like on your Jordan 11, how you have that right here. It's kind of like that same thing that the 11 has, but it's not carbon fiber, it's plastic. You have a white foam hit right in between that. The zoom cushioning is very soft on this shoe. So with that being said, that last detail that I did want to point out is this shoe is crazy comfortable. I tried it on once a long time ago at a boutique 
didn't buy it went to the nike outlet tried it on one more time and i was just sold um, this shoe is very comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable Nikes that I've ever worn. Definitely more comfortable than like an Air Max 90 or Air Max 1. And it's just crazy because for the fraction of the price, you know, it looks different. You know, it's not the typical style that we're used to. But it's just one of those Nikes I feel like from last year kind of just flew under the radar. And completing this shoe, you do have a electric green, white, and black outsole. And you have like almost like that waffle inspired bottom on the forefoot and when you get to the heel of the shoe i noticed that something that says brs 1000 i'm not sure what that is what that is it could mean bowerman series i'm not exactly sure as far as the fit the shoe does fit true to size and another thing i really liked about it i don't have a wide foot but it's definitely wide foot friendly so it grips your foot this midfoot like grips your foot really nicely but as you get to the toe, it's the toe box isn't super tight. You guys know how a lot of your Nike running shoes or even Adidas, that toe box is so, it just compresses the foot too much sometimes. These are like wide foot friendly. So definitely go true to size. They're not too tight like your, your normal Nikes. Very happy with this shoe. I can't wait to wear it. I'll be wearing it a ton. Again, it's going to be one of those shoes. But I'm kind of waiting for it to get a little bit warmer. It's still too cold here to be busting these out at the moment but for 71 dollars you can't beat it the shoe looks dope the colorway definitely pops i'm pretty sure you can wear these and somebody's gonna stop you and be like yo those are dope man what are those because it's nothing that you see every day it's just a dope nike and i honestly wish they do a lot more cool colorways there isn't a what is it called there is one collaboration with this shoe with a cold wall and it's like one color, I believe, but it has this big stupid block on the back and it just looks stupid to be honest, but I would love to see these and maybe a few more collaborations or just maybe different colorways. You have this colorway and you have a royal blue colorway. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Nike Zoom Vermeero 5 SP. Me personally, I can't wait to wear these. I'm going to wear these a lot, especially in the summertime. Whenever I go out of town or something during the summer, these are coming with me. I'm not even really trying to match match the shoe up perfectly or anything. I'm just going to put it on with whatever I got in my closet, and we will go from there. So, yeah, man, we're going to throw these on feet. I wanted to switch it up and do the on-foot outside for you guys, but um, it's snowing out here, man. It's snowing at the moment, which is, which is not good. I was going to you know, go out, hit the gym or something, and that, that's not happening. So I decided to stay in and instead just shoot this video for you guys. It just really it reminds me of, like, I don't know if you guys remember when you were kids back in the 90s a lot of the nikes were styled like this you know what i'm saying like just general nikes you could go on like jc pennies and get them that's what it reminds me of one of those jc penny nikes but just with a little extra spice to it all right so with that being said thank you guys for watching man greatly appreciate it we're working we're grinding every single day and we're out of here y'all